So we have this problem where a particle moves in a straight line such that its displacement in meters x at any given time t in seconds is given by the formula x equals to t cubed plus 6t plus 5. And the question is asking us to find the displacement, velocity and acceleration when t equals 3. Well, the displacement is easy enough to find because this formula is already the displacement. So, to answer part A of the question, to find the displacement, you just substitute t equals 3. So, x would equal to 3 cubed plus 6 times 3 plus 5. So, what's that? 27 plus 18 plus 5 would be 50 meters for part b of the question which is asking us to find the velocity this is where differentiation comes in handy because if you remember from basic physics or just any real life example uh, velocity equals to displacement so displacements divided by time or rather distance divided by time there's a slight difference but we'll just call it distance divided by time so to get the velocity equation from this displacement equation we just find the derivative so we'll call it velocity will equal to dx dt and see how it's similar to the velocity equation so this would be 3t squared take the 3 in front and minus 1 to the indice then plus 6 so that's our velocity equation now we can just substitute t equals 3 to find the velocity when t equals 3 so that would be 3 times 3 squared plus 6 so that would be 3 times 9 27 plus 6 so the velocity would be 3 3 meters per second now to answer the third part of the question the acceleration we have to recall that acceleration is simply the measure of how quickly the velocity of an object changes so acceleration would be the change in velocity divided by the time so again we just find the derivative of dv so acceleration would equal to dv dt since v equals 3t squared plus 6, the derivative of dv with respect to t would be just 6t. So if we want to find the acceleration when t equals 3, we substitute 3 in. And 6 times 3 is 18 meters per second squared for the acceleration.